appeal was sponsored by Squarespace. Shut up, Agueda, everyone! Welcome back to the basement show. Today we are going to do a project that I know nothing about. I was on Twitter the other day and I saw this awesome channel called Lumen Couture who had made a face mask, but in the face mask there was LEDs all over the place, making cool patterns and stuff, and I thought, oh, we like LEDs and face masks are useful. Let's make that, but let's try to use an Arduino and use LED strips. Yes! Could be really cool. But there are some challenges because we need to be able to take out the LEDs, else yeah. we can't wash the face mask. Yeah. We also need to power the LEDs. These are things we need to figure out. And I guess I will have to be the one to do the sewing, and you'll be the one to do the electronic. Well, I uh, I don't know how to sew. I know the stuff you learn in school when you're this big. That's about it. <laughs> but I think if we combine our forces and then. Magic. Okay. I will go make the mask, and I will see you later. Bye! Okay, so I'm gonna make a mask, and I have my trusted sewing machine here that I've used approximately three times since I got it. So I think the first thing I have to do is really just to find a pattern of a mask online, because why reinvent the wheel when you can just find a wheel? <laughs> So I'm just gonna do some research and uh, I'll see you here in a second. So I'm gonna try to not be too technical in this build, but I am gonna talk about what we will do, else this is gonna be a terrible build video. What I have here is something called an individually addressable LED. What that really means is just that in a normal LED strip, when you power it, all the LEDs light up at the same time. In an individually addressable LED, the actual LED powers up based on what you input to it from a microcontroller. And you can tell LED number 1 to light up in one color and LED number 10 to light up in another color. And that's a quite nice feature when we're gonna make cool animation things, masks, music reactive LED lamps. What I also have right here is something I have never used before and this is copper tape. And I'm gonna use that to act as the positive and the ground for the electronics. That's just super handy instead of having to use thicker wires. Finally, we're gonna need to mount all of that onto this little piece of cloth. And later that will be inserted into the face mask. I'm gonna solder that. I need to first cut all my LEDs and glue it to this thing. Let's just go. this pattern for a face mask on craftpassion.com. I will leave a link to it down below. And this allows for both some kind of filter to be inserted as well as a wire to go over the nose to really press it against your face. And I also made this placeholder for the LED panel out of Warbler. It is approximately the size we think the LED panel will be. So I'm gonna use that as kind of my template for the insert in the mask. So I just make sure that it's big enough. You know, they go in each other. But okay, let's begin the sewing, shall we? So I'm basically gonna use two different fabrics for this. This more transparent fabric is going to be the one that is going on top of the LEDs because we don't want to block too much of the light, but we still wanna obscure the look of the LED strips. Whereas on the back, we're gonna use this fabric, which is a lot less transparent and also much stronger. And this is pure cotton, which is supposed to be one of the better materials for face masks. Funny story, when I was a bit younger, and I got my first sewing machine. I was going to spin this under thread. I don't know, is it called under thread? I think so, but I didn't know how to do it on the machine. So I did it by hand and it was just a disaster. I just heard some movement from one of the boxes in this room and uh... Hey there, handsome. You're such a good boy. He doesn't care. I'm gonna leave you be. One, two, three, four. And let's put them together. got a little seam going along here. Now I just have to cut some small slits along the curve here. Just like that. You can probably barely see it, but there are some 
some small slits here. Next, I have to fold in the edges here and just make a seam to make it pretty. And then after that, I can attach these together. It's looking pretty good. Like, fits on my face. Huh? The moment of truth. Do I have to do it over again? I don't know. We will see. Okay. It seems to go in. Okay. Gently. Ah! And it's in. That works. <laughs> So there's a little bit of excess material right here, but I think once we get that, that nose wire on, it's not gonna be a problem. So let's add the nose wire and some elastics. The sewing has been successful. Moment of truth. Does the mask fit? So this is the men's version of the mask. So it's probably a little big for me, but I suddenly feel like I look 10 times cooler. Hold on. Oh yeah, I can't wait to get LEDs in this mask. And it sits quite tightly around my nose here too. You can't see me smile, but I'm really happy about this mask. Oh, I can't wait to put LEDs in it. But uh, yeah, that my job is pretty much done. Super easy. I mean, done in like, what, three hours with no experience? Probably like one if you actually know how to sew. And now we just gotta put in the LEDs. I finished the mask. Finished the mask? Yep. This looks amazing. Thank you. Wow, great job. Thanks. While you did that, I made the LED matrix Ooh. finished. These are LED strips and they are soldered like this. So you go one way there and the other way there. A little snake. A little snake. So that should be able to fit into that one if we are lucky. If you've done your job right. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> it's all on you, Martina. We can't really fit it in there yet. I still have some work to do, but I have something else I really want to show you. Okay. Because I worked a couple of days on this. To be able to create the animations, I have made a web app. But it uh, emulates the matrix and you can draw on it. You select a color, say green, design something that you want to animate. This is one frame, like this. When you press this button down here, you add another frame and you can continue the oh, animation. Oh, you can see the previous frame too. Oh, and I love the glow effect. You love the glow effect? Spend two days on this and all you see is the gun. Them. That's I literally two lines of code! I'm a visual person. It's blinky! It's blinky. <laughs> That's cute. That's only two steps, but you can add as many steps as you want and as many colors as you want. And once you're happy with your animation, you can press export and it downloads a file. Now currently animation 43, because I've never done this before. <laughs> you take that file, you drag it onto the SD card, put the SD card into the Arduino setup that I made, and it will automatically show the animation on this LED matrix. Automatically. <laughs> automatically. <laughs> I love that word. Okay, so can you have like as many animations as you want? Yes, as many as you can fit on the SD card. How do you switch between the animations? Oh, that's a very good point. Because we have this battery bank and we have the Arduino setup. We probably will need a pouch to contain everything. And I thought we'll add a button as well on the ah. pouch. So you press the button and it will change the animation. Oh, I can't wait to put it in the mask. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. But oh. I have a lot of work to do still because I need to solder all the electronics to a more rigid mm. setup because this is a fragile thing. Oh. <laughs> a little floppy one. I can make a pouch yep, for it do that. that you can have like on your belt or something yep but but i gotta go work i have a lot of work to do yeah you got you got stuff to do i mean i i also got stuff to do see ya <laughs> So I've cleaned up the electronics a bit because it was quite messy. Now inside this box there's a couple of things. We have the Arduino itself which controls the LEDs and reads from the SD card which we also have inside here. And it reads a file that contains all the information it needs to know about the animation, which LEDs to light up, which color. We also have a cable going from the LED matrix and inside the Arduino, so that's nice. And the final thing we have is this power bank, which is a 10,000 milliampere power bank. We don't want to be carrying this around in our hands, so I'm gonna ask Martina if she can make a pouch for it. But I'm really looking forward to powering this, so I'm gonna hand this to Martina and next time I see you maybe we can try this out. So Hansu just handed me this and all we have to do now is really just to make the pouch for the battery bank and the Arduino case. Should be easy enough, just some fabric, some velcro, make it simple. Let's make a pouch. Okay, 
in. So we got ourselves a, well, humble little pouch, but you know, it's got a little loop. You can hang it on your belt. It's got Velcro on the front and you can click the button on the side. That's all we need. Okay, but now that we've done this, we can do the most fun thing about this whole project, which is create some cool animations. Let's go. <sighs> all right. <laughs> Okay, so while we're here, let's just have a look at this website that I made using Squarespace for my art portfolio. Nice transition there, Martina. <laughs> and no, but seriously, I really love how clean this website looks. Just no unnecessary information. Mm, just what I wanted. And also it was super simple and quick to set up because you just pick a template you like and then you can start customizing it right away. So I started with this one. And after a little bit of tweaking, I ended up with just the perfect design for my taste and for the purpose of my website. You don't even need a domain or any experience with making websites at all, because you can just buy a domain there and it's so simple to use that anyone can make a beautiful website with just a few clicks. So now, if you want to make your own portfolio or an online store or any other kind of website really, head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash nerdforge to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you for listening, now let's make some animations. <laughs> Here we are in the face app. Ponzi added a couple of new things. So you can add a new step or duplicate this step. And then you can also remove the step, clear all, export all that other stuff. What should the first animation be? Oh, I know, I know. Okay, but maybe the text should like be one letter at a time. Okay, let's play it. <laughs> it's so cool. I love it so much. Okay, okay, let's play this. <laughs> it's so cool! Okay, so now that I'm happy with this, I'm gonna just export it. Okay, so let's make another one. Let's make a... Uh, let's make a creeper face. Okay, cool, cool. So let's play it. Okay, okay, I think it could go a little faster at the end. I like it when the animations loop properly. So it's like when you get to the end, it looks natural when it starts over and not just a clean cut. And there, okay, so let's play the whole thing now. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> so cool. Okay, I'm gonna make a couple of more animations and I'll see you in just a second. So I just finished up some animations and loaded them into the SD card. You also made this awesome pouch. Oh, thank you. I really like that. Hopefully it works. Mm -hmm. What if it doesn't fit, Martina? Then we have a problem. It seems to go in. This can just be hanged from the belt. Yep. That's quite cool. All right, should I put it on? Yeah, put it on. <laughs> okay, fits, it fits. Okay, cool. <laughs> that looks cool. Okay, let's let's try to power this thing. What? It works. What does it's, it look like? It's your arrow animation. <laughs> it looks amazing. <laughs> okay, let me step through a few more animations. Okay. Oh, that's the Pokeball. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's the Navi. Oh, that looks amazing. I love the animation. It's so smooth. It works! Okay. Oh man! Oh, the Pokeball is so cool! <laughs> They're so cute! <laughs> <laughs> You're very cute anime girl now. <laughs> oh, this is such a cool mask. This is a large success. This Ooh, is one of the coolest great. thing I think uh, we've made in a while. What I really like about this build is it's, it's so like usable. Mm. We could use the web app, just plug in the SD card, make new animations, go out with it and make a new animation every day if we wanted to, so it's really usable. We're gonna show some more footage of this in the dark at the end of the video. We just wanna thank our patrons and our YouTube members for supporting us and supporting this video and what we do. It just helps us a lot, so thank you so much. And if you're new here, remember to subscribe to the channel and press the bell button so you get notified when we upload, because it's about every second Tuesday. Make sure to do that. We'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Yeah. In two weeks. In two weeks. See you then, everyone. And that's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a really yeah. good one. <laughs>